Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and welcome back. For those of you that are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon. Turn it to all the position to on to all um, so that way you can be notified of any and all videos that I am pushing out on my channel. But I'm coming to you today because I have some very, very exciting news and announcements. Finally, um, as I had mentioned in one of my lives recently with you, um, my Starseed Footstep Oracle cards, which I released about a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, um, they were a much smaller version. They came without a manual, um, but I felt it was only appropriate for the, um, the actual cards to get a remake or a revamped um, and have a second, second edition. Um, in addition to the first edition. So um, this is the second edition. They're going to be available on my website um, starting tonight. Um, maybe a little bit earlier, but if you're not subscribed to my website, go to www.raymondguzman.net um, and then just on the homepage, scroll all the way down until you see um, add to my waiting list or join my mailing list. Um, and join that, enter your uh, name or your initials and an, a valid email, and you'll be notified um, when I, um, you know, have them available on my website for order. They are going to um, sell for $20, so that is a sell price. I feel like that's a very reasonable price, um, specifically because um, they are new, and uh, they are also going to be available, um, like I said, through um, just my website only. Um, so this is what they look like. They come in this box. Look at that. Starseed Footsteps Oracle Card, second edition. And then this is um, the art cover on the back. And again, I helped um, the designers look at the actual art. And it says in the back, it says, um, with these cards, I bless thee. May the power of the moon and the magic of the stars help you receive the answers for your highest good. So I wanted to put like a little prayer, a little incantation, something, you know, that was tangible, something that you could read um, and kind of bless your cards. Because a lot of people ask me like, can you bless your cards? Um, but I worked with uh, my, my card uh, artwork designer um, and the cover designer. Um, the illustrator of the cards itself was Alex Bajelka, and I actually worked with Alex on the actual concept of these cards. For those of you that have my first edition of the Starsea Footstep Oracle cards, will you know what that is all about? And then um, here I have the uh, cover design, which is, this is not the original design. For those of you that um, are, not, are not familiar with what I actually had put out. This is the actual first edition, as you can see, and this is the second edition. So it's quite a big of a difference when you look at that. This fit like in your pocket. This not so much can be in your pocket, but you can always take them out of the box. Um, this box that you see here um, is so cute. That's the original design, and it had my photo on the back with a little um, story about it. And then um, you open it up, and then the cards come out, and you know they're about that size or kind of small. So I'm going to show you the new design of the box of the new second edition. Okay, so the second edition, they come uh, packaged in this, but I have to remove the package if you want me to uh, autograph. So autograph copies are going to have a personal message inside the box. Let me show you again. This is without the wrap, um, but the, this is a magnetic box, so it is fancy. Moving on up. <laughs> See? Fancy. And guess what, guys? Guess what? It comes with a manual. Hallelujah. A lot of you have asked for me to have a manual. The manual is here. So this is a little booklet with all the meanings and stuff. They're in alphabetical order. And now we're going to pull out. Let me show you here. So here, I'll probably write a message here on the back of the, um, of the, of the deck and autograph it for you guys if you want to order. Um, and then the inside, I can also put messages in here as well. So um, it's a magnetic cover, as you can see, and the cards are in here. The first card is Anger. Now look at the size of these cards. These are standard tarot uh, card size, and these are, are not. You see? So these were like poker size, and this is tarot size. So they're a lot bigger, sturdier, and the only other difference as well, let me pull the cards out of the box so you can see them. Uh, there is another difference here that we're gonna get into. The, this deck here has like a gold trim. So I don't know if you can see it if I hold it up. 
it's kind of fancy. Can you see that the edges are gold? And if I pull out my other cards, um, let me pull my other cards out, the original ones, um, those cards don't have the gold edges. So again, you're getting a very, um, you're getting your, your money, it's worth, I feel. They're a lot thicker. Oops, let me hold them up. Can you see that? So they're a lot thicker and sturdier, um, which I'm not, you know, saying that these were not good because I really love my first edition and I will keep a couple of copies, but basically the first edition is being obsolete. I will no longer be selling the first edition once I continue to sell out. I only have like maybe a couple left of the first edition. Um, so now this is going to be the Starseed Footsteps Oracle cards that I sell. So I'm very, very excited. Um, and I'm going to kind of go into a video, a mini tutorial of the cards and their meanings. Um, so that way, because a lot of you that are out there are not familiar, perhaps this is your first time looking at this video or my channel, or you're maybe not familiar with Oracle cards and what they're used for. Um, so like tarot cards, they can be used for divination. So can Oracle cards. Um, the difference between the two, I, I, honestly feel and I've always said this and I, I stand by it oracle cards are more to the point they don't give you like where you have to kind of look at the card the imagery um, and kind of interpret what does it mean to you the cards are very clear and concise and the backstory to the star seed footstep oracle cards was that I wanted to create a deck in which a lot of people that are on a spiritual journey regardless if you're a beginner or someone that's been in the industry for years would be able to relate to something that someone would be able to um, look at the card and just without having to go and reference a manual even though now i have a manual <laughs> um you know you would be able to interpret the cards itself from the meaning so um this card has the card of anxiety okay just pull this here okay has anxiety um, backstabbing blinded careful with decision cheaters crystals dependencies depression uh, divine protection, evil eye, ending, fear, financial struggles, forgive, gossip, happiness, haunted, heartbreak, illness, Justice, letting go, listen to your intuition, lying, meditation, mourning, oops, moving, new job, new love, past life lessons, peace, Psychic attack, self love, spiritual gifts, spiritual attachments, stagnation, oops, third eye, travel, two choices, walk away, witchcraft and anger which was the first card i actually should have uh, had in the very front but i went through these because i was so excited it was like let me go through my cards let me go through my cards and see them so um i'm gonna just do a mini reading really quick and i'm gonna shift the camera down so you can see this i'm doing a mini reading um kind of give you an example of if i was reading someone or um you know on a live or you're reading yourself um and you're you got my cards like what um what do they mean right because i have a lot of people that ask me like you know, what do they mean? Um, so we're going to get into it. Okay. So let me lower this camera. Oops. All right. So I'm going to just shuffle the cards and I want to see, I want to show you on camera. They're a lot easier to grasp. They're not as small 
and they're very, very soft. They don't cut your fingers from the edges. They're not um, super sharp like some tarot cards, but they're not gonna easily fold or like get wrinkles. And so I'm just gonna do a reading really quick. It's like a mini, mini little thing just to show you. So I'm gonna ask about Ashley. I don't know who Ashley is. I'm just making this up, uh, making up an imaginary name. But Ashley wants to know what is Spirit has to say. She wants to know a general. She wants a general reading. She wants to know exactly like what's going on in her life. So we're gonna pull some cards for her in no particular order. And again, I'm not doing spreads. I know a lot of readers out there that are looking at my videos. They get upset because I don't read traditionally like they do. You know, there's a thing called a spread or spreads, different kind of spreads. And basically all that boils down to is different positions that you can uh, put your cards and each position has an interpretation like future, present, you know, um, the, you know, the past, the present, the future, or, you know, the overall meaning of the outcome, blah, blah, blah. But I don't do that. So, okay. So I'm um, Ashley wants to know about like, what is generally what spirit has to say. So we're pulling some cards for her and, um, we're pulling about, we're going to pull six cards for Ashley. Okay. So I hope you can see that. All right. So we're pulling some six cards for Ashley got them all here. So the first card here that we are pulling up for Ashley is self-love. So when I see this card, it's like spirit is saying, you know, Ashley, you need to mo maybe focus more on yourself. Self-love is all about self-preservation. How much time and energy are you putting into yourself? So that's what I would say that spirit is trying to convey to Ashley. Then the third eye, when you see the third eye, this is, a, this signifies someone that has psychic abilities. So maybe Ashley is coming to the cards, to my Oracle cards to consult them, to see like what messages does spirit, does spirit have for her? And this would be spirit kind of telling Ashley that, Hey, you do have spiritual abilities. You have your third eye very much focus on. This is where you need to do your most work and focus on right now on the in information that's coming to you in the form of downloads of information, like hunches, intuition, what you feel deeply, trust that. And then we have here stagnation. So even though she's doing self-love and third eye, the stagnation are the roadblocks. This is like when she's a uh, person has reached, um, uh, you know, a crossroads in their life and maybe they have decisions whether they should stop what they're doing or continue or take two different paths. But basically there's something in her life that she needs to change in order to, you know, cross that, uh, railroad track and move forward to that, um, road that you see in the, in the, um, in front of the railroad tracks because stagnation indicates that there is something in your life that perhaps that you're holding on to either it's a fear or just you're not ready for change you're procrastinating a lot and so stagnation comes up in a reading to let you know that okay hey there is something here there is some truths to this i need to change whatever i'm doing then we have here let letting go maybe ashley is holding on to a lot of hurt emotional pain things that should not be renting space in her brain that shouldn't be bothering her and so it's time for her to let go of that and then we have here witchcraft wow so witchcraft could be meaning several different things depending on how what the other cards are here going on i don't see psychic attack i don't see anything like um haunting so for me witchcraft could mean is that she does have an inner witch ability and maybe like with the candles that you see there maybe she should um you know, embrace her inner witch and do some candle magic or work with herbs. So it's not always when you get the witchcraft card, do you want, uh, do you want to automatically assume that this is a bad thing or it has a bad meaning? Because that is not the case with my cards. Um, I made them with the highest intention possible depression. Um, funny enough, when I go back now, um, she's asking about this depression you know, asking about her life in general. And funny that I got the witchcraft card next to depression. So possibly part of, it, you know, there's two different ways or outcomes here. Um, the letting go makes me feel like she is still spiritually courted to somebody or a situation that is no longer good for her. Um, through magic, she'll be able to get, you know, get out of that uh, situation that she's in. Um, and then the depression, you know, it is it's telling her basically that you know there not necessarily her but there is a male here in the photograph 
perhaps someone else is going through depression and she needs to change that. So again, there's always different interpretations and meanings to the cards itself. Um, I want to also point out that my cards um, were done by car uh, caricatures. So they are very fun, very um, childlike, because I wanted to create a card that helps adults connect to their inner child. Now, these cards are very suitable also for ages 13 and up. If you have children that um, possibly you want, you know, every parent has different par uh, parenting methods. If you feel like your child is a sp spiritually gifted, these cards can definitely work. Children can work with them, you know, around that age. Because I know that when I was 12 or 13, I was into tarot and oracle cards. But a lot of kids are not. Um, you know, but if you have a kid that is, because um, a lot of parents are like witches or they they do, you know, all of this kind of stuff, um, you know, it, it's, it could be, you know, used to help um, your children connect, to have a deck that they can uh, relate to that's kind of fun and kind of reminds them of like a comic book or a caricature. So I tried to make it where, uh, you know, you could appeal to uh, so many other people. And I'm very excited because in the fall, I'll be, um, uh, I'll be creating and also launching my second um actual deck which is um again n i'm not going to say the name yet um and i can't give that details but it is a second oracle deck and it's nothing like this first one it's a lot more i feel a lot more spicier in many ways um and it's more i feel more for adults so um i hope that you enjoyed this um this announcement and uh know that i will be doing some giveaways on my cards so i have two decks here um you don't have to do anything to enter just comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think of the oracle uh deck the second edition and um, i'll have a lucky winner that will be winning two well two lucky winners on my channel that will be winning this and then i also will have some um giveaways on all my all my other forums as well so blessings and love and light um and until next time bye